Welcome, very good evening to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So I have discussed it that Tuesday and Wednesday I will be coming it uh, on the YouTube class. So uh, today is uh, Wednesday and we are here with the part 8 of the CMAT 2024 100 most expected question. Please go and watch part 1 to 7 also, the previous parts. Uh, so where do you find it? So jana hai aapko playlist mein, just go in the playlist section. So here click on playlist, yahan pe ye wala aapko milega. Think in first minute dala hua hai. So you view full playlist pe click on it and you will get this, uh, the uh, the previous classes. So please go and watch the uh, part 1 is general awareness ka, part 2 hai. Then there are innovation, quant ka bhi hai. Then part 3, 4. So part, uh, the previous parts 1 to 7, go and watch that as well, okay? Now some people would be asking, hey, sir, aur iske alawa bhi kuch hai. So yes, uh, playlist mein jana, ye wala dekhna. Thik hai, jismo likha na, general knowledge. Uh, ZAT, Testnet, CMAT, IFT. This is my view fill playlist. Pe click kara. So there are almost 36, 37 videos. Take care. So at least 20, part 20 onwards. Take lana. Part 21, say just a part 20 or 21, say like last tak, till 36 or 37. Please go and watch those classes. Take care. If not all the 37 videos, so at least 20, 21 ke baat se, uh, go and watch it. Take care. So let's start with the first question of the day. Uh, which are the following PSU public sector unit? was honored with Brandon Hall Group's Excellence in Technology Award 2023. Your options are NTPC Limited, NHPC, Rural Electrification Corporation of India, Power Finance Corporation of India. What is the right answer to this question? What is the right answer? Which of the following PSU was honored with Brandon Hall Group's Excellence in Technology Award 2023? What is the right answer? If you know the answer, please answer it. The right answer is NTPC, National Thermal Power Corporation Limited. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay. You just remember it. It's my most other detail. Nahi jana. Na, NTPC ko mila. Brandon Hall Group Award Excellence in Technology. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next one. A renowned doctor and an activist, Gao Yuj, uh, passed away at the age of 95. She belonged to. Your options are Australia, US, China, France. Hi, sir. Pahle ke A answer tha. Rishikesh, Bhanu, Sonu, Mandal. You all were right. Is answer batayye. So question number two, a renowned doctor and activist Gao Yuiji uh, passed away at the age of 95. Uh, she was from which country? So the right answer is option C. China is the right answer to this question. Okay. And uh, she was from, uh, she was a Chinese doctor, died at the age of 95 in New York. And uh, she was actually, uh, mm, uh, she actually became famous for her relentless activism in exposing man-made AIDS crisis and for her work to remove the stigma associated with HIV AIDS. And that is why you should be knowing it. So C is the right answer to this question. Okay. Yes. Uh, the next is acts per UNODC, UN Office on Drugs and Crime Related. So that's UNODC. Released Southeast Asia Opium Survey 2023. Opium, you understand? Uh, it is a sort of a drug which is quite dangerous, it is harmful to the youth and all. Uh, which among the following, our neighboring country is the largest producer of opium in the world? Largest producer. Yes, please tell me, Maldives, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Myanmar. Uh, one more question, one more question, Golden Triangle and Golden Crescent. So these two are associated with what? So golden triangle and golden crescent are associated with drug trade, illegal drug trade. So this also we will be discussing. Okay, so here the right answer is D. Myanmar is the right answer to this question. So Myanmar is the world's biggest opium producer. So opium, of course, uh, is um, a harmful substance or drugs. So D is the right answer. Yes, Rishikesh, Sono, Mandal, Strange Gaming, you all are right. Uh, D is the right answer to this question. Golden Triangle Opium Economy sees steady growth in 2023. It means the opium economy has increased. Steady growth matlab, is tarah se badha hai. Okay, and which organization says United Nation Office on Drugs and Crime has reportedly said this. Hai? So, uh, the report titled South Asia Opium Survey 2023 Cultivation, Production and Implication. Hai? Now, uh, let me tell you what is Golden Triangle and Golden Crescent. So, here is India. Uh, here we can see Myanmar is there, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam. So this region is called, let me write it with the red pen. This is actually called as Golden Triangle. It's uh, uh, actually famous for drug trade, illegal drug trade. And here is Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Here we can see Golden Crescent. Both are terms associated with drug trade. This is asked exam mein, that these two terms are associated with what? So associated with illegal drug trade. Drug state will always be legal. Okay? Legal nahi hota hai. 
ओके एंड देर आर लॉज एसोसिएटेड विद दैट इन इंडिया तो उसको कहते हैं एनडीपीएस नार्कोटिक्स ड्रग्स एंड साइकोट्रॉपिक सब्सटेंस एक्ट एंड अंडर इट बॉडी हैज आल्सो बीन मेड उस बॉडी का नाम क्या है द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड एज एनसीबी नार्कोटिक्स कंट्रोल ब्यूरो यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड इट दिस एनसीबी रिलेटेड रिगार्डिंग आर्यन खान केस द शाहरुख खान सन वाज अरेस्टेड बाय द सेम एजेंसी एनसीबी एट दैट टाइम इट वाज इन द न्यूज़ ठीक है तो ये सब बेसिक चीजें सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट सो डी इज द राइट आंसर है ना Let's move on to the next one. Which of the following advanced AI model has been launched by Google's parent company Alphabet? So Alphabet is the Google's parent company, yeah? So your options are Aqua, Gemini, Neo, Gossip. Uh, artificially, there is like the most famous one is ChatGPT, yeah? Right? Which has been launched by OpenAI, yeah? Right? Okay, so artificial intelligence, yeah? Right? So uh, GPT ka full form kahi baar pucha tha last year mein bhi, yeah? Right? So generative pre-trained transformer. एग्जाम्पल हो सकता है जेमनी चैट जीपीटी दीज ऑल आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एल एल एम ठीक है ओके द नेक्स्ट वन है ना As who has been chosen as CEO of the year by Time Magazine? Sundar Pichai, Mark Zuckerberg, Tim Cook, Sam Altman, CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the year by Time Magazine. I hope you are aware. Time Magazine is a very famous US-based magazine. है ना? इसका कई बार नाम आता है. So what is the right answer? Everyone, please press the like button. सबको like button press करते जाओ. CEO of the year is actually Sam Altman. He is actually the CEO of OpenAI. है ना? The organ, the body, uh, the company which has made ChatGPT. ठीक है. Or in the last one or two years, I hope one and a half years, uh, AI has been very much in the news, है ना? So this is the right answer. Yes, Vikram Reddy, you are right, है ना? ठीक है. Similarly, athlete of the year अगर पूछा जाए, athlete of the year by Time Magazine, so the answer is Lionel Messi. Messi everyone knows, footballer from Argentina. तो पता होगा इनके बारे में. Yes. हाँ, बहुत सारे लोगों का answer क्या है? D is the right answer. Very good. Sam Altman on OpenAI Artificial Intelligence CEO of the Year Time Magazine. Okay, uh, the next one, Hana, uh, is uh, Hana. Uh, Hana, 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 uh, Hana
आप हमको कमेंट सेक्शन में बताओ दैट देर वर फोर्टी यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट टू गॉट एडेड इन एक्चुअली लास्ट ईयर सो विच आर दो गॉट एडेड लास्ट ईयर आई वॉन्ट टू नो प्लीज आंसर मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू नो इट बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है हु वॉज अपॉइंटेड द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मिजोरम इलेक्शन एंड लास्ट ईयर एंड एक्चुअली वी हैव डिस्कस इन येस्टर डेज क्लास ऑल्सो सम ऑफ द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर्स एंड इन दिस क्लास विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल्सो फर्दर सो मिजोरम में भी इलेक्शन हुआ The capital of Mizoram is Aswal, right? So, who is the new chief minister? The new chief minister is Lal Duhama. He is an ex-IPS officer. So, D is the right answer. Okay. Okay. And a Zoram National Party, Lal Duhama. And before him, the chief minister was Zoram Thanga, but he lost the election, and now we are having Lal Duhama as the chief minister. So, D is the right answer. Yes. What is the difference between static and non-static? White ball static G K means that the change नहीं होता है. जैसे history कोई question हो गया balance of जैसे let's say battle कोई battle हो गया जैसे battle of Panipat कब हुआ कौन सी year में हुआ? Now it is not going to change. ठीक है. Non-static मतलब जो current affairs है which keeps on changing. That's the difference. ठीक है. Okay. तो कहाँ पर है Mizoram? Let me show. So here is Mizoram. The capital of Mizoram is Aswal. Yes, Bhanu Agarwal, very good. Uh, you have answered my question. So I was asking this question that uh, the two latest site of UNESCO World Heritage Site, which are those two, very good. So the answer is Shanti Niketan from West Bengal, associated with the life of Rabindranath Tagore and Hoy Sara Temple in Karnataka. Good, very good. So these are the two latest ones to be added in UNESCO's World Heritage Site. Good. This is very very important, I would say. Okay, let's move on further. Uh, to uh, yes, if you are watching this class in the description box, there is a, a link. ये वाला link है one on one counselling session का देख रहे हो इसपे लिक क्लिक करना. You will get this Google form. Uh, everyone should fill this Google form. You will get to know more about our courses. ठीक है? And this is a C Math 2024 specialized course. Uh, so download our app. Go to MBA section. You will get this course. And what is the benefit of this course? So these are the benefits. 20 plus C Math live lecture, 50 plus engaging videos, mock test, 10,000 plus topic. uh section test these are the things being provided and these are some free sessions okay so uh aaj 7 pm pe 7 pm pe we had uh, we had this session so you can watch the recorded video also and uh 7th april ko 11 am in the morning we'll be having a scholarship test if you qualify you will get up to 90% off on the paid class courses okay so let's move on further uh, who tops the list of world's 100 most powerful women globally according to forbes magazine Christian Lagarde, Kamala Harris, Giorgio Meloni, Ursula von der Leyen. What is the right answer? World's hundred most powerful women globally. What is the right answer? The right answer is Ursula von der Leyen. So she is a European Union chief, the head of European Union, है ना? So D is the right answer. President of European Commission and all. ठीक है. So this you should be knowing it. Rank one पता होना चाहिए. बाकी अगर आप जान लो तो अच्छी बात है. But yes, rank one is the most important. Ah, uh, D is the right answer. Yes, Vikram, Sonu, Mandal, and Rishikesh, you all are right. Ah, uh, the next is what is the theme of the two-day 2023 Uttarakhand Global Investor Summit that was inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi in Dehradun? Your options are cohesive and responsive, peace to prosperity, realizing opportunities of the 21st century, Uttarakhand reformed, multilateralism. What is the right answer? 2023 Uttarakhand Global Investor Summit that was launched by Prime Minister in Dehradun. थीम क्या था सो थीम इज पीस टू प्रॉस्पेरिटी सो पीस द राइट आंसर ठीक है फॉरेस्ट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट देहरादून में है ना लॉन्च किया गया था ठीक है सो प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स देयर एंड ये है एफआरआई फॉरेस्ट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इन देहरादून वेरी फेमस है ना सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन जूनियर महमूद रिसेंटली पास गए ही वाज अ फेमस व्हाट डायरेक्टर सिंगर राइटर कॉमेडियन बताइए ही वाज अ वेरी फेमस कॉमेडियन और कॉमेडियन एक्टर भी कह सकते हो अगर एक्टर लिखा तो चलेगा बिकॉज़ ही इज कॉमेडियन इज आल्सो एन एग्जाम अन अ टाइप ऑफ एन एक्टर सो डी इज द राइट आंसर है स्टार्टेड एज अ चाइल्ड आर्टिस्ट एंड ऑल है ना ही वाज बोर्न एज नईम सैयद ठीक है ही वर्क्ड इन फिल्म्स लाइक कैरावान हाथी मेरे साथ ही एंड मेरा नाम जोकर सो दीस ऑल आर वेरी फेमस फिल्म्स ऑफ अर्लीयर टाइम्स ठीक है सो डी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है हियर इज 
प्राइस ड्यू टू स्टोमक कैंसर देखो दिसंबर की न्यूज ऐसे रिसेंट है देखो तो सीमेंट मैंने जनरली रिसेंट ज्यादा पूछते हैं समझ जाए दिसंबर से लेके पूछेंगे दिसंबर जनवरी फरवरी मार्च ये सब पूछते हैं जनरली रिसेंट मंथ्स का हो मैं द फॉलोइंग वाज चूजन एज टाइम मैगजीन पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट इसको स्टार मार्क लगा लेना मलाला यूसुफ सई ग्रेटा थनबर्ग टेलर स्विफ्ट लेडी गागा व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर व्हाट इज सिंगर आल्सो अच्छा इसमें सिंगर था बट प्राइमरीली ही वाज एन आर्टिस्ट ठीक है ना तो डी इज द राइट आंसर कॉमेडियन ठीक है हम्म ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टाइम मैगजीन पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर 2023 लेटेस्ट वन गिवन टू टेलर स्विफ्ट शी इज अ सिंगर फ्रॉम यूएसए ना तो सी इज द राइट आंसर यस विक्रम रेड्डी यू आर राइट है ना यस गुड ये याद रखना ये इंपॉर्टेंट ये पूछते हैं कई बार एग्जाम पूछते हैं ठीक है हु इज द न्यू बीबीसी चेयरमैन बीबीसी में द ब्रिटिश ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कॉर्पोरेशन इट इज अ न्यूज एजेंसी फ्रॉम ब्रिटेन Now, why it is important? Uh, it becomes important because the person who has uh, actually become the new BBC chairman is a PIO. PIO means person of Indian origin. Okay. Okay. And that is why it is slightly more important. So, if any Indian gets a good position at the international level, it becomes more important. Okay. Right? So, here the right answer is Samir Shah. So, A is the right answer to this question. Okay. समीर शाह एंड पी आई लिखा पर्सन ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन नेम्ड एज ऋषि सुनक चॉइस फॉर पीबीसी चेयरमैन सो ए इज द राइट आंसर यस ऋषि के स्ट्रेंज गेमिंग यू ऑल राइट द नेक्स्ट इज साइमा वाजेद द नेक्स्ट रीजनल डायरेक्टर ऑफ द डब्ल्यू एच ओ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया रीजन इज फ्रॉम विच कंट्री इंडिया बांग्लादेश यू ए मलेशिया तो डब्ल्यू एच ओ ने वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज डिवाइडेड द वर्ल्ड इंटू सिक्स रीजन एंड इंडिया वी एक्चुअली लाइज इन डब्ल्यू एच ओ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया रीजन अभी साउथ ईस्ट एशिया रीजन का हेड बनाया गया है साइमा वाजिद को एंड शी इज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम विच कंट्री द राइट आंसर इज बी शी इज एक्चुअली डॉटर ऑफ बांग्लादेश पीएम बांग्लादेश पीएम इज शेख हसीना एंड हर डॉटर इज साइमा वाजिद ठीक है सो बी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है साइमा वाजिद बांग्लादेश प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स डॉटर शेख हसीना नॉमिनेटेड रीजनल डायरेक्टर ऑफ डब्ल्यू एच ओ तो जैसे ये डब्ल्यू एच ओ का रीजन है तो हम लोग द ग्रीन वन इज एक्चुअली डब्ल्यू एच ओ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया रीजन लोग डिफाइन करते हैं ठीक है ओके सो इसके जो डायरेक्टर जनरल हेड बने वो ये और डब्ल्यू एच ओ का ओवरऑल डायरेक्टर जनरल कौन है तो डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ द इंटायर डब्ल्यू एच ओ टेड्रॉस एथेनॉम टेड्रॉस एथेनॉम गेब्रियास ठीक है सो द राइट आंसर इज सी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है Uh, the next is what is the significance of INS Sandhyak recently delivered by Indian Navy, uh, to Indian Navy by Garden Reach Ship Builders and Engineers. GRAC actually is a ship building company from Kolkata. ठीक है. It is the largest hospital ship in Indian Navy. Part of a series of four combat vessels by GRAC, first indigenous survey vessel designed solely for low intensity combat operation. क्या सही जवाब है? The right answer is option C. It is the first indigenous survey vessel. Survey vessel with a ship who actually is indigenous or the made in India means it has not been imported. Rather, it has been made primarily in India. So C is the right answer. Most of its component are from within the India. That's the idea. So C is the right. Yes, so no Mandali wala right. Uh, there is the next is <coughs> where was the world's first portable hospital unveiled? Portable means what? Which can be moved, movable. Understand me, na? गुरुग्राम रांची पटना चंडीगढ़ फर्स्ट पोर्टेबल हॉस्पिटल द राइट आंसर इज गुरुग्राम हरियाणा इज द राइट आंसर आरोग्य मैत्री क्यूब है ना इज द राइट आंसर अंडर द भीष्मा प्रोजेक्ट यस विक्रम रेड्डी वाला राइट है ना वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट जैसे डिजाइन पोर्टेबल हॉस्पिटल गुरुग्राम Uh, the next is which word has been named a word of the year by Oxford University Press? Gaslighting, Riz, Goblin Mode, Metaverse for 2023. Okay. It's a Collins Dictionary, ne? So Collins Dictionary has uh, uh, say, um, uh, used AI uh, declared AI to be 2023 word of the year. So Oxford University has declared Riz. So B is the right answer as uh, 2023 word of the year. ठीक है रिस्क का मतलब होता है एबिलिटी टू अट्रैक्ट अनदर पर्सन ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाट यू शुड बी नोइंग इट रिस्क नेम्ड एज द वर्ड ऑफ द ईयर बाय ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी प्रेस जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया है ना अब यस बी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है 
ओके हाँ यस तन में यू ऑल वे राइट प्रशांत ऋषिकेश यू ऑल वे राइट द नेक्स्ट इज विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया वॉज अवॉर्डेड इंटरनेशनल ऑनर फॉर एफॉरेस्टेशन एफर्ट इन कॉप ट्वेंटी एट सो आई होप यू आर अवेर कॉप ट्वेंटी एट हैपन इन नवंबर दिसंबर इन दुबई यू ए है ना वॉट इज कॉप ट्वेंटी एट कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टीज कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टीज एंड दिस वॉज द ट्वेंटी एथ पार्टीज है ना कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टीज डन अंडर यू एन एफ ट्रिपल सी यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क कन्वेंशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज सो दीज आर एक्चुअली क्लाइमेट मीटिंग्स which happen every year and uh, since 1995 or right? yeah so cop 1 happened in 1995 like that so last year in november december cop 28 happened in dubai uae okay and uh, so basically uh, the state of bihar was honored for afforestation afforestation effort and uh, so please the right answer afforestation to samajhte hoge hopefully hai na the ped lagana and all hai na so to hai na so to increase the area under forest cover and all hai na so these are the ideas So B is the right answer, and COP28 was the last year, November, December. Me, and and Dubai is Bihar soil conservation and climate resilient agriculture practices, hog limelight and all. Okay. Yes, um, Rishikesh, Prabhu, Danme, you all are right. B is the right answer. Which uh, in which fort did PM Modi recently unveil the statue of Shivaji Maharaj? Lohagarh Fort, Janjira Fort, Rajkot Fort, Dalatabad Fort. शिवाजी महाराज का स्टैचू अनवील किया ने ओपन किया या इनोग्रेट किया सो द राइट आंसर इज राजकोट फोर्ट सो सी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है ठीक है ओके एंड आप देख सकते हो एर इज इनोग्रेटिंग इट द नेक्स्ट वन ओके जस्ट बिफोर मूविंग ऑन सो दीज आर सम ऑफ आवर फ्री सेशन विच विल बी हैपनिंग ऑन आवर ऐप So how to maximize your score in CAT 2024? 14th April, 11 a.m. with Srinivas sir. 17th April, go with uh, 7 p.m. with Saral sir. है ना? 21st April, also we'll be having a scholarship test. है ना? 11 a.m. in the morning. Then 28th April, go 11 a.m. May we'll be having a free workshop with Srinivas sir. So these are some of the free sessions that would be upcoming sessions. है ना? 5th से 14th April तक we are running an all India open mock for CAT 2024. इसको भी try करो, attempt it. है ना? Okay. Uh, the next is who has been appointed as the independent director of FMCG Major Hindustan Unilever Limited. FMCG means what? Fast moving consumer goods, है ना? Hindustan Unilever Limited के independent director किसको बनाएंगे मेरी संजी? संजीव सानियाल, तरुण बजाज, के एन राघवन, संजय मल्होत्रा. What is the right answer? बताइए. Yes, the right answer is B. Tarun Bajaj is the right answer to this question for a period of five years. So B is the right answer. Yes. Appoints ex revenue secretary Tarun Bajaj as independent director for five years. Uh, the next is who has been appointed as the head coach of Indian cricket team by BCCI? Sachin Tendulkar, Kapil Dev, Sunil Gavaskar, Rahul Dravid. Right answer is D. Rahul Dravid was the chief coach, and he has been reappointed. Dubai Rahana. So B is the right answer to this question. Take okay. care. Uh, the next is which film received the special jury or silver peacock award at fifty fourth International Film Festival I F F I, which was held in Goa. Hi, sir. पहले कटी आंसर था. बहुत सारे लोगों ने आंसर किया. Good. Special jury or silver peacock award. At fifty fourth I F F I, which happened in Goa, so the right answer is Kantara. Is na? Is the right answer. So silver peacock award was given to Kantara, film directed by Rishabh Shetty. Okay. Or best film, ah, uh, which uh, uh, golden peacock award, who got it? Endless Border, directed by Abbas Amini. Okay. So these two names, remember. Is na? Na? So these two can be asked. Yes. So is the right answer Kantara? Yes. So no Mandal Strange Gaming Vikram, you are right. Na? You can see. Kantara makes history by becoming first Kannada film to win the award at IFFI. ठीक है? Okay. Uh, let's move on further. Which are the following cities? Cities होगा sorry. हाँ. Hosted one of Asia's largest sports, fitness and wellness trade expo, Fit Expo in that on your three. Kolkata, New Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore. What is the right answer? क्या सही जवाब? बताइए. Right answer is A. Kolkata is the right answer to this question. Okay. Okay. Yes. है ना आप देख सकते हो. The next one is who is the author of the book titled Welcome to Paradise? 
अभी न्यूज में था मैंने अमिताभ घोष अरुण दाती रॉय ट्विंकल खन्ना अनिता देसाई कई बार मैच द फॉलोइंग वगैरह पूछ देते हैं हाँ इससे पहले का ये आंसर था इसका आंसर बताइए वेलकम टू पैराडाइस ऑथर ऑफ द बुक ट्विंकल खन्ना सो सी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है एंड ट्विंकल खन्ना आई होप यू आर अवेर शी इज वाइफ ऑफ अक्षय कुमार यस विक्रम स्ट्रेंज गेमिंग जो आर राइट सी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है ये याद रखिएगा ये सब पूछते हैं कई बार ठीक है ना मैच द फॉलोइंग पूछ लेते हैं खैर लेट्स मूव ऑन फर्दर इससे पहले का सी आंसर था मेनी पीपल हैव आंसर्ड इट वेरी गुड व्हिच इंडियन ट्रांसलेटर राइटर वाज अवार्डेड नाइट ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड लिटरेचर एंड लेटर्स बाय फ्रेंच गवर्नमेंट्स जंपा लहेरी अरशिया सत्तार अनीता देसाई और उंधाती रॉय व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर बताइए द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अरशिया सत्तार सो बी इज द राइट आंसर इट वाज गिवन बाय कंसुलेट जनरल ऑफ फ्रांस इन बेंगलुरु ठीक है translator of indian epics so the next is the eighth wonder of the world angkor wat temple is situated in which country cambodia south africa zambia zimbabwe what is the right answer ye bahut important i would say star mark kar lena because till now we had seven wonders of the world ab isme eighth one has been added and that's angkor wat temple theek hai and this will be asked in the exam very important uh this is the eighth wonder of the world and uh, the right answer is from cambodia so a is the right answer na eighth wonder of the world and uh, it was built as a hindu temple dedicated to lord vishnu and gradually progressed to become a temple in of buddhism also so you just have an idea so here is india yahan pe aap dekh rahe ho cambodia yahan pe angkor wat temple theek hai so a is the right answer ha ये याद है स्टार मार्क कर लीजिए इसको है ना इट इट बीट पॉम्पी इन इटली है ना इसको बीट करके बना व्हाट देयर आर सम फ्यूर क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड विद इजराइल पैरा सीइंग गन प्ले कैनल व्हाट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इजराइल गाजा जेरूसलेम अम्मान रियाद और इसका करेंसी भी बताना है बिकॉज दीज थिंग्स आर इन द न्यूज सो दे कैन आस्क इट बताइए सो द कैपिटल ऑफ इजराइल इज करेंसी ऑफ इजराइल इज न्यू शेटल ओके पूछते हैं मैच द फॉलोइंग ये सब एंड द कैपिटल ऑफ इजराइल इज जेरूसलेम अगर जेरूसलेम ऑप्शन में नहीं दिया है इफ द ऑप्शन टेल अवीव इज गिवन यू कैन मार्क दैट एज वेल बिकॉज समटाइम्स मेनी प्लेसेस में जेर डिस्ब्यूटेड भी तो इसीलिए सो बी इज द राइट आंसर हियर ओके यस यस ऋषिकेश यू आर राइट बी इज द राइट आंसर हां है ना सो आई होप यू आर अवेयर सो हियर इज इंडिया दिस इज इजराइल अ नेम द वाटर बॉडी व्हिच इज ऑन द वेस्ट ऑफ गाजा सिटी रेड सी मेडिटेरेनियन सी ब्लैक सी अरबियन सी वट इज द राइट आंसर क्या सही जवाब है वॉटर बॉडी विच इज ऑन द वेस्ट ऑफ गाजा सिटी द राइट आंसर इज मेडिटेरेनियन सी ये सब पता होना चाहिए बीज द राइट आंसर अगर आप देखोगे देखो ये वाला जो है ना ये इतना सा गाजा है ठीक है दिस इज वेस्ट बैंक एंड जो बाकी रेस्ट ऑफ द पोर्शन है ना This is Israel, ठीक है? So West Bank and Gaza together is called as West Bank and Gaza together is Palestine. Okay? तो जो Gaza के West में नहीं, इधर जो water body है, this is actually Mediterranean Sea. कि मैं पूछ रहा था, Mediterranean Sea. Okay? Uh, the next is Houthi rebels recently in news uh, are from which country? Lebanon, Israel, Iran, Yemen. What is the right answer? The right answer is the right answer is D. Yemen is the right answer to this question. ठीक है. A white is the news. मैंने बताया देखो. If a ship comes from Israel or from यहाँ से UK से या US से कोई ship आ रही है, so it is attacked by people of I mean there is a rebel group in Yemen called as Houthis and they are attacking those ships. जैसे ये सब news में था Yemen Houthi rebel hijacked an Israeli link ship in Red Sea. तो ये वाला जो है ना ये Red Sea है. और ये वाला मेडिटेरेनियन सी इसको कनेक्ट करता है स्विस कैनाल ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाट यू शुड बी नोइंग इट ठीक है सो इट इज द राइट आंसर यस भानु अग्रवाल प्रशांत ऋषिकेश वाला राइट है ना हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इजराइल प्राइम मिनिस्टर और प्रेसिडेंट दोनों का नाम बताना है 
So the Prime Minister of Israel is Benjamin Netanyahu and the President of Israel is Isaac Herzog. So these two you should be knowing. Joe Biden is US President and Vladimir Putin is Russian President. Okay. So these are the basic things you should be knowing it. Because some news may aata hai, match the following hai, pooshte hai sab. Theek hai? So aapko pata hona chahiye. Then there is one more person who is in news, Vladimir Zelensky. Vladimir Zelensky. And he is actually the president of Ukraine. Okay, yes, B is the right answer here. Take a fair capital, Magara Pustana, Jerusalem capital, and liberty recognition. Then, uh, President and Prime Minister Ganam Puchenge. Parliament of Israel is called as Neset. Yes, a push name. Take a okay. Uh, Hezbollah, which is in news actually, belongs to which country? Ye bhi Israel Palestine conflicts associated news. Mein. Israel Palestine, Iran, Lebanon. What are you? The right answer is from Lebanon and the capital of Lebanon is Beirut. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay. So here's some news method. Lebanon fires rocket in Israel after deadly strikes and all. So these things were in the news. Uh, sorry, Hezbollah fires rocket into Israel. So these things were. Uh, okay, let me show. So here is Israel. It's Cooperman Lebanon. Hai. So here they attack there. Okay. Um, Israel currency, I have told you. Prashant. Uh, Israel's currency, uh, you are asking, Israel's currency is new shekel. Okay, okay. Uh, the next is uh, how many permanent members are there in UN Security Council? 5, 7, 4, 9. Kya si jawab hai? Permanent members in UN Security Council because it has recently passed the resolution on Gaza ceasefire for immediate ceasefire in Gaza. So UN Security Council has 5 permanent members. A is the right answer. Yes, strange gaming, you are right. And a UN Security Council demands immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The 14 council members voted. US abstained. So these are P5 members. And these are 10 non-permanent members selected for 2 years. So if anyone say blocks the veto, blocks it, the resolution would be blocked. But um, USA in the past 3 resolutions have uh, actually used the veto. This time it has decided to abstain. Abstain means neither say yes nor say no. So the rest 14 nations have passed the resolution to uh, demand immediate ceasefire in Gaza. Okay. So A is the right answer to this question. Non-permanent members are 15. They are elected for how many years? Because permanent members, permanent AP5, they don't need any election. But non-permanent members are elected for how many years? 2, 3, 5, 7. What is the right answer? The right answer is for 2 years. Those are clearly elected. Yeah, the election and the, they are actually elected for two years. So A is the right answer. Uh, the next one is where do we find the headquarter of International Court of Justice? Uh, recently, the South Africa actually moved, uh, filed a petition in I, uh, ICJ, International Court of Justice against Israel, calling it as genocide. So uh, that is why ICJ, International Court of Justice was also in the news. And ICJ is uh, one of the six principal organ of United Nations. Uh, So it is headquartered in the Hague, Netherlands. A is the right answer. Okay. And uh, where is the headquarter of UN? Yes, we push them. New York is a push them. Okay. So main headquarter of New York is of UN is in New York. So here is the right answer. Yes, Manu Garwal, Shikesh, Vikram, you are right. So here is India. Okay. Here Europe is. Here you will find Netherlands. The cap uh, the capital of Netherlands is Amsterdam. Or uh, maybe a city here, the Hague. Here you will find the headquarter of ICJ, International Court of Justice. And there is one more court. It's called the ICC, International Criminal Court. That also you will find it in The Hague as well. Okay. Uh, a judge is elected for nine years and there are only 15 judges. Uh, the next is who is an Indian judge at International Court of Justice? Justice B.V. Nagratna, Dalvir Bhandari, Bela Trivedi, N.V. Ramanna. Ek India ke judge, there are 15 judges at ICJ. One of them is actually an Indian. Unka naam aapko batana hai. Anyone? The right answer is Justice Dalvir Bhandari. So he is a former Supreme Court Judge of India and he is currently, uh, since 2012, he has been a Judge of ICJ. So B is the right answer. Yes, Vikram Reddy, you are all right. Uh, this is a CAT College Predictor. So download our app, go to CAT MBA section, you will get this CAT College Predictor. So this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baidu's Exam Prep app. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.